In our previous videos, we learned about writing checks, and that you should never write a check that you don't have money for. But what happens if your customer doesn't have enough money and writes you a check? In this situation, you deposit the check, and your bank gives you the money early as a courtesy for you. Then, weeks later, when the customer's bank receives the check, they choose not to honor the check and send it back to your bank. We call that a dishonored check. All right, that's it. Dishonor. Dishonor on your whole family. Make a note of this. Dishonor on you. Dishonor on your cow. Although the technical term is a dishonored check, because the bank chooses not to accept or honor that check, another slang term for a dishonored check is a bounced check, because the check bounces back to you instead of being cashed. Sometimes banks will also call these checks NSF checks. NSF stands for non-sufficient funds which is the banking term for not enough money in the account. Either way, a dishonored or bounced or NSF check is a check someone writes that the bank refuses to honor, typically because there isn't enough funds in the account to cover the check. When this happens, the bank typically charges a fee as a penalty for the dishonored check. But who would they charge the fee to? The person that wrote the check or the company that deposited it? It might surprise you to know that the bank typically charges both parties. The person writing the check gets a fee from their bank for writing a check they didn't have money for, and the company depositing the check gets a fee from their bank for depositing a dishonored check. While this may not seem fair, both banks have extra processing they have to do for this dishonored check, so both banks charge a fee. When a company receives a check that is dishonored, their solution is typically to add the cost of the check back to that customer's accounts receivable. Since the company also got charged a fee for the check, they usually pass that fee on to the customer as well, and add the fee to their accounts receivable too. So, in the end, a company records a dishonored check by reducing or crediting the cash account for the amount of the check and the fee, and then increasing or debiting the accounts receivable for that same amount. For example, let's imagine that a customer paid $300 to your company but the check was dishonored and removed from your company's bank balance, and your company's bank charged you a $25 fee. How would you record this transaction? Well, first, you would debit accounts receivable to add back the $300 check plus the $25 fee for a total of $325. Then, you would credit the cash account to reduce the balance by that same $325. So in the end, when you write a dishonored check, not only do you have to pay back that check, but now you have to pay back the fee your bank charged you for bouncing the check, plus an additional fee from the company you wrote the check to because of the fee they got charged. This is why dishonored checks can get very expensive very fast. That's why it's always recommended that you never write a check you don't have money for. And that's why tracking your bank balances on your check stubs can be so useful to make sure that this kind of a situation never happens. To learn more about dishonored checks or other accounting topics, check out more of my videos on YouTube or visit ToriNorman.com.